Well, this school really makes every effort to encourage students to additionally and independently develop their talents. When one says inclusive education, it is not only about students who have some difficulties. We have many talented and gifted students and work with those children and cherishing their talents is also perceived as a form of inclusion. We are very much engaged with such students and the most beneficial thing you can offer in working with them is to have a good choice, offer different extracurricular options and opportunities to offer them to get engaged into in addition to their classes. I attended to musicals club, it is Creative English, that was organized by my classmaster, and I also attended drama club, I attended to journalists club, and I am a technical editor there. Every year I work on Gimnasialets. It is our school magazine, I do DTP for the magazine. This year I worked on a catalogue design for Art Colony, because it was the first time our school organized Art Colony activity. Also, we are the school where the lectures are delivered in Serbian language, but in Hungarian language too, and it makes our school richer in regards to what it offers. Currently, we are implementing a project that brings together both groups of students and which is implemented in cooperation with Segedin Grammar School. Next week, our pupils are going to Segedin. This is our third year of doing things in cooperation. Inclusion is well known. It is not an alien word in this school. Everybody is involved and included, and we cherish many activities in the school. Cool. The scope of the activities is fairly wide. There are great opportunities to express ourselves. I think that is one of this school's qualities. The school has the inclusion team. The team members change every year and it is important to underline that a special role is given to expert associates. I could give an example of our former student who was also elected the student of the generation. He is blind, but the school enabled him with a quality education and he won Saint Sava reward, I think. He invented a computer software to present the periodic table in a form that is appropriate for the blind to use. He studies at the university now. If we have an education system that is sufficiently open and flexible to invite in all the diversities and within which every child can develop its competences to their maximum so that everybody have equal opportunities and the resources for me, it means that we have quality education. I do not even know whether it is good or bad, thus I do not want to make any conclusions or make any comments about something I don't know anything about. I support that initiative. I think that is the easiest way to have children included in a community and to socialize them. I believe that they should be assimilated into a group of children we consider the normal ones, but maybe those teachers have to work extra with them. If, for example, they are super intelligent or they do not chime in with that normal group. Of course, I think they should not be discriminated. Those are all marginalized groups that should be included. In our family, we have a boy who had never spoken until a year ago. He attended various kinder house programs for children who are disturbed in development. Now, he attends a real kinder house and, all of a sudden, started to speak in real sentence. I believe this should be implemented simply because they have the rights as we do and have to be included in everything just like us. If we, as a society, wish to develop the fabric that a democratic civil society is made of, meaning participation of diverse social groups in it, the participation in a social process, and that the individuals physically and psychologically feel safe and well in the society, then we have to understand that the inclusion is a path that would lead us to it.
The project for inclusive education in our school is implemented through the workshops where we and our students discuss the purpose of the inclusive education is to overcome differences and prejudices that exist in our school. Bearing in mind that at our school we have students who come from different ethnical backgrounds, social backgrounds and also the students from urban and the students from rural communities and so on. Therefore, I will share with you three positive practices of building the coexistence at the school. One is between the female students who are one of Macedonian nationality and the other one of Turkish national background. Elif and Anastasia and are inseparable. They are always together. They are together during the breaks between the classes and they sit together during the lectures. The only thing that sets them apart is a honking of a horn of the bus that takes Elif back to her village while Anastasia stays here. Furthermore, our student, Uja Reymov, is very successful in music and he plays in our school band and makes everybody happy with his music. He's very successful in writing lyrics in English, in Macedonian and also in Turkish. When we have some school events like celebrations of first day of spring or autumn festivity, it is impossible to imagine those without him and the band. He and the band also participated in Masu festival in Khrushchevo last year. Furthermore, our students Yusuf, Ali and Minur, who at the beginning of the school year expressed the need and wish to study with Macedonian class were kind of secluded at the beginning and sat on their own. Now they do not that anymore. They are well accepted by our students and Yusuf is one of the best in the class. The activities related to inclusive education are nowadays implemented throughout the school. However, this is just the beginning in having an inclusive school that will cover all the activities we have implemented so far in which both Macedonian and Turkish children would learn and understand in both languages. That would mean that there is a perfect communication among them and no limitation in sense of pronouncing terms in any of those languages. The inclusive education springs out from a humanistic approach which is incorporated in and accepted through many international declarations which are pertinent to children's rights and general human rights. This approach implies inclusion of all children, young people and adults, regardless of their characteristics, and it's the approach which emphasizes that their different needs have to be met when we say all the children, we refer to children from different ethnic territories, various ethnic backgrounds who have different knowledge of the language that is spoken and have different psychological characteristics and features. The most important thing is that inclusive education emphasizes the need to have much more attention given precisely to children who are the subject to marginalization or exclusion and shut down at any base. Inclusion? No, I honestly don't know. I think it's about including of all the differences, the differences that children have in process of education in school. For example, is if one child wears glasses and the other child does not wear those, the difference in way they speak, in the way they write, etc. I think it is taking into consideration all the differences and including of all who have the differences. The thing that is specific to the inclusive education is the fact 
that it pays particular attention to the uniqueness of each child. Every child is different from all other children, and the inclusive education emphasizes that fact so as to create the overall education process that is sensitive to these differences. Uh, на ваквите разлики.